dad's a cool canoe builder and my grandfather's a cool canoe builder. But I like to go fast. <laughs> Italian came to me for many reasons. But for now, we'll just say it fits what we're doing. Kind of like the Ferrari of our rigs. So we want more of a big water boat, something more for Hawaii, Maui to Molokai, big San Francisco ocean swells. Right? And because we wanted the bow to stay dry, we added in the front inch and a half, two inches on the bow, raised the nose a bit so we wouldn't curl, opened up the middle of the boat under the seat at the water line. That was to create longer travel on a bump so that we could sit there and it'll handle the volume and the weight of someone in the big surf. We moved the rudder up three and a half inches, which gave us more maneuverability and it kept the rudder from coming out of the water on big swells. The bow I lengthened three inches, gave it a little bit more water line, gave it a little bit more distance in the front and we took the nose of the boat and we gave it distance on the height. When we did the distance on the height to keep it from purling, we took the top of the bow and made it really tight, almost like a hull of a boat. The idea with this is instead of dropping down a bump and having the climb completely up and over it, you want the bow to pierce through a little bit, kind of like a sailboat. So what we see now is if you do dip that bow, it's not losing any speed and the nose is coming right back up. Instead of having a really wide bow to where you have to either climb over or push hard to get over it, or if you do purl it, it will slow that boat down a whole lot, right? So the idea is tight bow, tight on top, nose goes under, pops up right away. We widen the seat area a quarter inch. So all our boats and everybody's boat out there is usually about 16 inches. Right now we have 16 and a quarter. And just this quarter inch makes this boat probably one of the most comfortable boats I've made. And with a little bit of extra volume under the seat, you get more stability as well. So if you're looking for stable, comfortable, this is a great boat. The one thing we did, which we've been talking about for 10 or maybe 20 years, is we put an adjustable foot brace system in it. You know, whenever you get in a canoe, it's designed to have your weight in a certain area. And if you are too tall and you're sitting behind your center, it's harder to pick up the bumps. The boat stalls a little bit. If you're really short and you're way far forward, you have more chance of purling this bow. So you're never really in this right area Unless you're one of the people that fits that profile, probably around 5'9 to 5'11, right? So now we have, we can keep the weight centered in the boat. You can move the foot brace to go forward or back so that you're always where you want to be. What this gives us an advantage is on a smaller day, you can move all your weight forward. The seat goes up a little bit, foot brace goes up a little bit. That way you drop into the swells a little sooner, a little easier. On a big day, you can take your seat, move it back a little bit, move the foot brace back with you, and then your weight comes all the way back a little bit, and that keeps you from purling, and that keeps the bow up on a really big day. So now you have an adjustable foot brace and a seat system to move your weight forward or back in the canoe as you desire. We had the prototype, we were using it for about a year, and changing things, widening, changing heightens, rockers, all kinds of things. Now we have a boat that's 19 feet 6 inches, waterline 19 feet, maybe 19 one, depending on your we have good travel on the bump, we have travel up and over the bump in front of us, and we have a dry hull on a bigger day. What we also get with this boat is it's got a pretty long water line for a short boat. So we're seeing right now that we're getting good travel speed in flat water. The weight distribution as far as heavy people in the flat, I think it's a great boat. Light people in the flat, we're seeing good results. And as time goes on, we'll figure out more and more about it. But right now, have to say we're super happy with it. It's amazing and don't and go get it.